What's up, Sensi friends? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris, and today I'm really excited because I got my Bring Back My Bar in. I didn't even know it was coming. I checked my email this morning, the FedEx um, shipping, and it said it was coming Monday. I went about my business today, blah, 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 and I went out and I came home and it was on my porch. I don't know when it was delivered. I never got an email stating it was delivered. I never got a text message notification. So, yeah, it was a huge surprise. And, unfortunately, I had to go out this evening. So, now it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm recording this because I'm not waiting. i got to get into this box. i got to see what these things smell like. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, here they are. They're all in this box here. So I'm just going to take them out real quick. And I think there's 25. Now, I don't know if you're not familiar with what Bring Back My Bar is, if you're new to Sensi. Twice a year, in January and in June, they release a collection of old bars, um, retired bars, for one month for us to purchase or in club if we like them and want to keep getting them. Um... Basically, what happens is there'll be a vote, and everybody, consultants, general public, can all go in and vote for which bars we want to see come back. And the top 20 win. We have 25 because the CEO picked five on his own that were to come back. So... That's why we have extra. These bars will be released January 1st to the general public. Um, the same price, $6 a bar. There are a couple licensed bars in here, and those will be $6.50. Um, you're probably wondering, well, Chris, how come you got your bars now? I got my bars because I am a Sensi consultant, and on December 1st, we had early access, and we were able to order all of them. And this way we can do reviews on them, talk to our customers about them, make samples, whatever you want to do with them. So that's why I have them now. So let's, I pulled up the scent notes, so I'm all ready, right? Okay, if I can get my password going. Three, four, okay, all right, so. We're just going to start grabbing. The first bar I picked up is called Everything Nice. Okay, and it is like a golden color. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, is this supposed to be pumpkin? Something's a little spicy here. Smells a little, um, I don't know what this note is. Let's see what the scent notes say. Everything nice. Yes. It's pumpkin. Okay. It's sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel, swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. So it's a bakery. Yes, it's a nutty pumpkin. You do get the caramel and the spice. I don't know, there's a weird note on the bottom, but maybe that's the pecans. All right. So it's a nice bakery scent, a nice fall bakery. We'll have to warm it and see. But that's everything nice. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little torn on that one. There's something a little off on it. But <clears throat> it's a cold sniff. This next one is bananas. Now, bananas is a very weird scent to try to 
put into wax. It's usually artificial. I mean, obviously. So a lot of times it comes off that taffy smelling candy like. Okay. It's not bad. It smells a little pineapple in here. This isn't too bad. It's not bad for a banana. Like I said, banana's a tough one. Let's see what the scent notes are. Hmm? It is a delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla, reminiscent of banana flavored taffy. I mean, generally they all smell like taffy to me, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm not, you know, to me, I, you know, I prefer like mixed with like a bread, you know, so like more of a banana bread. It, it kind of, it does smell taffy like I don't smell any vanilla or coconut milk. I just smell banana. But it's not that, it's not too bad. Like I said, sometimes bananas like really, really artificial. This isn't too, too, maybe that coconut milk and vanilla is taking off that artificial edge, possibly. But basically you've got bananas. All right. Toasted apple butter. This sounds good. And we have a nice, nice yellow. Okay, this is nice. It smells cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon, actually. Um, trying to see if I'm getting the apple. Very cinnamon heavy. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm just getting a lot of cinnamon. Let's see what this says. Huh. Toasted apple butter is creamy butter. Blended with ripe apple, accented with rich spices. I don't know, you guys. It's not bad. I like it well enough, but it's not what I was expecting. Hmm. I'm trying to get that apple. There's, it's so spicy, but I like spice, so it's you know it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to warm this one. I think this is going to be a really warm, comforting scent. Yeah, we're gonna check this one out real soon. All right, the next one is Crazy Coconut. And let's see, well, let's, before I look at the scent notes, pretty blue. I'm gonna assume that this smells like coconut. It does. Now, if I'm being honest, I'm not a fan of coconut. Um, and generally the reason I'm not is because um, for me, I always find that coconut smells very um, chemical-like in wax. I just I've I haven't found a wax yet with coke, just like a straight-up coconut that I like. And again, I pick up chemical here, but and I'm also picking up a tropical note. Let's see. Coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. I 
I'm not getting vanilla ice cream here. I'm getting that coconut, but again, I pick up a chemical note. But I do pick up the fruit because I, that must be that tropical note I'm getting. It's like a, there's a sweet tropical note here. I'm not getting vanilla ice cream at all. Okay. Yeah, it has a, it has a, a note or... Now, I have not watched any of the other consultants' videos yet. And I was saying, so one of the reasons I was really bummed I wasn't getting mine till Monday, not only because I wouldn't have had time on Monday to open or record it, I want to see what other people are saying. Because, you know, inquiring minds want to know. Chris's mind. So I, I'm so far, I'm curious to see what consultants are saying about these. Yeah, I'm picking up chemical here. But that could be my nose. I don't ever really pick up coconut well at all. And I tend to shy away from coconut. Okay, this one is a whipped vanilla pear. This sounds really good. I love pear scents. You know, and when you add the word whipped to it and vanilla, it just sounds like it could be lovely. Okay. Oh, I don't want to look at the notes yet. Yellow. Okay, this is light. I like the pear note in here. I do. This is pretty. This is like a creamy pear. This is very nice. Oh, this is pretty. I like this one. It's a nice pear. It is light though. I don't know. I can't. This one might not throw that hard or come out very strong, but I do like the smell of it. It's a nice, fresh-smelling pear. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. What do we got here? All right, whipped vanilla pear. A luxuriant caramel glaze, caramel glaze tops, baked pear, and whipped vanilla. I'm not getting caramel. But you do get a creamy vanilla and a, a creamy pear. It's creamy. It's not like, you know, just picture if you've been into a pear, what it smells like. Just that fresh, juicy pear. It's juicy and very pear forward, but it's creamy. It's soft and I really like this one. I'm excited to warm it. I hope it's as pretty warmed up as it smells there. Okay, so now we have a Disney bar, and this is Twitter painted. Oh, you know, I'm not a Disney fan. I mean, as far as like the Scentsy bars go, very rarely do I. They're usually fruity and light, and I just generally I don't care for the Disney bars. But with this one, it's Bambi. Everybody loves Bambi. So let's see. Oh, I like the color too. I don't know how it's coming off in the screen, but it's a really pretty mint green. It's pretty. Oh, it's a, like a floral. Almost like a eucalyptus note here or something. This is kind of nice. Ooh. I like this. I'm picking up like a eucalyptus fresh note. Let's see. Let's see. Disney Twitter painted. Wow. 
Not at all. Okay, spring is in the air, and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops, and lush wild moss. I like this one. This is nice. I'm picking up like that, um, a little bit of a eucalyptus. I don't know, maybe it's the wild moss. Beautiful bathroom scent. I would melt this in my bathroom. That's where this would go. Ever so slight perfume note. Really slight. I wonder if it's the wild moss. I like this. Morning dew drops. It's very fresh. It's very um, clean. I don't mean fresh and clean as in laundry. I'm just talking the scent notes are clean. They're crisp. They're fresh. You know, they're not muddled at all. This is nice. I look, I'm going to warm this in my bathroom. Um, let's see. Next one is Frosted Ginger Cookie. All right. Frosted Ginger Cookie is a, like a golden yellow, a golden rod yellow. This is nice. I like this. You know what? My nose is like doing weird things tonight. Let me tell you. This is really nice. I like this. The ginger's nice and it's there, but there's like a little bit of a... Oh. Again, I'm picking up weird notes that may not even be in here, but I'm getting like a little bit of citrusy note. Slight. Maybe that's the frosted part of it. The ginger is beautiful in here. I really like the ginger in this because it's not super, super spicy. This is really, yeah, I'm, I gotta see the scent notes because I like this one too. And there ain't no citrus in it. <laughs> Brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. You totally get the um, the sugar cookie, the brown sugar cookie, but the ginger in here is so pretty. It's oh, this is a nice, nice bakery cookie scent. Okay, sugar cookie. It's a little bit buttery. Fragrant vanilla. It's just pretty. The ginger, I love the ginger in here. Because sometimes, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge gingerbread fan. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just find sometimes they use too much of it. And it's dry. It's very dry and harsh to my nose. Okay, Simply Patchouli. Whoa! I'm throwing it at you. Simply Patchouli. Hmm. All right. Oh, I don't want to look at the scent note yet. Figured it'd be that color. It's like a, it's like a mossy green. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is that? I don't have words for this. You know, I like patchouli. This is like burning nose hairs. Mm. Let me find simply patchouli here. Dive into the rich earthy scent of patchouli. 
I would never warm this in my house. This smells dirty. It smells like a dirty ashtray with cigarette ashes in it. And oh, no. People voted for this. I got nothing to say about this. This just smells like dirty ashtray and ashes. And you know, I'm going to be honest. I, You've watched me before. I don't lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat everything and, and sit here and go, oh, it's lovely. No, I'm not doing that. You'll never catch me doing that. This is not lovely. I don't know who would use this. I, I don't. It stinks. It smells dirty ashtray. I, to be honest with you, I probably will not warm this. I'm not even going to say, oh, maybe it'll be better on warm. No, it won't. It won't. Just, it won't. <sighs> yeah. Let's move on. I got it. My nose hurts. Strawberry Sweetie. That's a pretty pink. I like that pink. Okay. Okay. This reminds me of like a candy. Maybe like a Starburst. A Strawberry Starburst. Yeah, it reminds me of a strawberry Starburst candy. It's creamy. It's not like fresh strawberries. It's like a creamy strawberry. Um, not in my wheelhouse. But I'm just to judge the bar. It's it's yeah, it's pretty. It's a nice creamy strawberry. It smells like um. Starburst candy. A strawberry Starburst candy. If these are like scents that you typically gravitate towards, fruity candy-like scents, this is, this is pretty. It's just I don't gravitate towards that. But I don't want to sit here because I don't like it other than that patchouli. I'm sorry. I... I don't know who likes that. And I like patchouli. I do. But I've never smelled patchouli like that. Who wants to smell like that? I'm going back to the patchouli. I'm just so shocked by it. I'm really shocked. Ugh. But this here. Let's get back to Strawberry Sweetie. It's pretty. It's like a, it's a strawberry starburst candy. Let's see what Sensi says. They are describing it as a fruity delight of strawberries sprinkled with sugar and vanilla. That would be Starburst, because Starburst has a little bit of that vanilla flavor to it, you know? Yeah. If you like fruit and candy fruits, this one's good. Okay, blood orange and spice, or just blood orange spice. Why can't I get it open? Eh. Pretty red. Hmm, okay. Um... Kinda smells like spicy orange juice. Let's pop it out. It's interesting. I, I kinda like it. Um, it's spicy. It is, it's like a um an orange drink, a spicy orange drink, kind of like an orange cider. 
I'd like to warm this. Let's see. Candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. This is, I, I do, I like this. I'm getting more orange than I am any apple here, um, which is fine. This is nice. It does, it reminds me of a cider. I like this. Mm. The cinnamon's lovely. Just locked me out. The cinnamon's really pretty in here. I hope it brings me back to where I was. <laughs> it did. I'll find it. Where am I? Think of apple cider, but replace the apple with orange. And that's what you've got here. And it's it's really nice. Didn't they have, didn't Sensi have an orange? Was it cranberry orange or I don't remember. This one's good. I'm, again, I want to warm this. I'm excited to warm it. Okay. This next one is Disney's Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Okay. And you could do bundle and save with these two. So you could do a bundle of six for $30. Forgot to mention that. Now granted, if you're gonna do five and put in one of these, that's not gonna work. That's kind of nice. Nice purple. A little bit of a grape scent. It smells like like a punch. Like a grapey or not in my wheelhouse. At all, this isn't something I would I would care for because it's too fruity. But if I'm just smelling the notes and the scent, it's it's nice. I don't smell anything weird. It's not there's nothing off to my nose like chemical or a weird note. It does. It just smells like a fruit punch. Bright. It's it's very sweet. Let's see. Disney Buzz Lightyear. Blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. I don't know if it's real fizzy or not, but it does. It smells like a punch. And I think if you like those fruit punch scents, you'll like this one. Just to be honest with you, Sensi's had the few of the fruit punches that they did have, or not, that I have smelled. I didn't care for them. I thought, ugh, they weren't for me. This one's nice. Orange, huh? Fizzy orange and black currant. I picked more of a grapey note. Good one. If you're a fruit punch person, I know who likes this. And I'm going to bet you anything when I go to watch your video, April Lee, I bet you anything when I watch your video, you're liking this bar. This is an April bar. And so is Strawberry Sweetie. I'm going to see because now I can watch the videos. So April Lee, the wax queen. This one is lots of lavender. 
Now, I like lavender. I like sweet lavender. It's hard to find nice, a good, nice, sweet lavender. Most lavenders are herbal, and I'm not crazy about it. I sound negative, don't I? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be negative. I'm not trying to be negative. Beautiful um, lavender color. That is very pretty. Okay. It's very soft. It's a soft lavender. This one is not, it's not harsh, unless it is on the bottom. No, it's not. This is very light. Super light. I wonder if when it warms up, if it becomes a little more fragrant. This is very, very light. Hmm. I think I might be able to this one because I'm not picking up that herbal note. I'm just getting a real soft lavender scent. Very soft. All right, let's see. Lots of lavender. A calming blend of chamomile and lavender. I wonder if it's the chamomile in here that's maybe cutting that herbal medicinal that lavender can give off because I'm not picking that up in this bar. This is not herbal or medicinal at all. Super soft, super soft. Huh. This one's a maybe for me. It's a, if you could picture lavender being very subtle it's just subtle and take that herbal edge off it that medicinal edge I think the chamomile in here is is toning this bar down um, I'm just worried about the strength of it because on cold it's it's really light real light Next one is cinnamon. And it's like a, oh, that's strong. Wow. Okay. It's strong. I'm not a mint. You're probably sitting here like, Chris, is there anything that you are? Do you like anything? Well, I do. I like lots of things. I like patchouli, and I don't like that one. But I do like patchouli. But I don't care for mint. Um, not straight up mint bars. Mint has to be mixed with something. It has to be shy and, you know... A wallflower. This is super minty. Um, let me just smell it now for people who like mint. You get that nice cinnamon notes there. It's balanced really well with the mint. I think it's a peppermint. It smells like a peppermint and cinnamon blend. Um, yeah, let's see what the scent notes are in here. Earthy cinnamon and spices melded with a cool burst of crisp peppermint. I think the mint fans are going to like this. Um, absolutely. It'd be a nice mixer. Yeah. The cinnamon in here is um it's a you could get you definitely get the contrast here of cinnamon and peppermint. They're not, you know, 
there's like two scent notes here. Cinnamon and peppermint. It's not like they're not melding together on cold. I smell each individual. Yeah. For the mint lovers. Cinnamon, it's, I think you'll, if I, if I were the type of person who liked mint, I would like that one. This next one is Awakening. Let's see. Oh, that's a lovely color. It's a very soft peach. Super soft. Hmm. A little floral. Lemon. Let's look. <laughs> it's not lemon. <laughs> I'm really smelling lemon today. Invigorate your senses with an unexpected harmony of white peach and vanilla, pineapple and amber. Well, I think the amber is where I'm picking up floral. This reminds me of something I've smelled, actually. I'm not getting pineapple or vanilla. You do pick up the peach, however, it smells a little lemony to me. And the amber is definitely there because it has a perfuminess to it. Um, I think this may be nice on warm. I do. I think this might be nice warmed up. It's a little florally. But that could be coming from the amber. And you get that citrusy note or fruity note. The white peach. Like I said, I don't smell pineapple or vanilla, but they could be in there just making it smell like lemon. <laughs> it's late, okay? It's late. It's clean. It smells clean, this one. Um... Like if you were cleaned your house, it has a clean smell to it. Okay. This one's a maybe. Oh, uh, this, you know what? Out of all of them, I think this is the one I really wanted. I should have just ordered one bar. I, okay. And it's Amaretto. I know I voted for this. I'm 100% sure I voted for it. It's a pretty, like, buttery yellow. Yes. 100% yes. You know what this smells like to me? You know the Chella Coral ch Cordial Cherries? Oh, you know the inside when you bite the cherry and that liquid comes out? That's what this smells like to me. This smells good. Mmm. So you get this almond note. The almond's there, but I pick up this cherry note. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is really good. It's sweet. This is a good bar. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see what they say. <coughs> Amaretto, an almond-scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. It don't say nothing about cherry, but I'm telling you, there's a cherry note to it. Not super cherry, but it's like a cherry almond, more almond forward, but they have cherries in there. To my nose. Oh, this is... 
Oh, this is really good. It's sweet. Now, I don't know if I'm picking up a spice or not. I'm not picking up a spice. Well, maybe there is, but I just don't know what spice it is because it's not. it doesn't smell like cinnamon. Unless it's a super light hint of it. This is good. That honey is making it nice and sweet. Oh. Yeah, I want to warm this one right away, too. Because I think I want to buy a lot of those. Well, not a lot, but you know. Okay, vanilla walnut. It's like a beige yellow. This is nice. I like this one. Oh, it's like it you get it's like a, a nutty vanilla. It's light. I, I I'm picking that it that's very light. But it's very good. Yeah, it's super light, but it's super pretty. I mean, I just got my doubts that this is going to throw a lot of scent. Maybe it needs to wait a while to, but the these are probably fairly freshly poured. I don't know. Oh, this is really good. It's a creamy, nutty, sweet scent but okay let's look at vanilla walnut roasted walnut a warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean guys this one's this is pretty this is really pretty oh. it's a it's a nutty vanilla. It's a beautiful vanilla with this, this nutty fragrance added to it. And it's just so, it's like a, it's a warm vanilla. It's really warm. And it's sweet. It's almost bakery. This is so pretty. I wish it was stronger because I, I got, my gut is telling me it's going to be light. And that's a shame because this is, this is a beautiful scent. It's so nutty and vanilla-like and it... Sweet nutty vanilla so think of vanilla that is super sweet with good sugar in it with nuts blended into it it's pretty it's really pretty yeah okay toasted caramel sugar oh it's another <laughs> these bars are very bland in color what am i Toasted caramel sugar. Not a huge <laughs> caramel thing. I like caramel. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, like caramel chestnut. You know, I got that going on. I had, I had a stockpile. But sometimes it could be real cloying. Now, this is almost has a little bit of a smokiness to it. Toasted caramel sugar. It's a little smoky. It's Okay. Kind of more like a burnt sugar. This is kind of nice. It is. There's a smokiness to this. Let's see what this one says. Toasted caramel sugar. Warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee. All swirled together with the scent of silky, sweet vanilla musk. 
this is good. Like I said, I'm picking up a smokiness to it. Is that the caramelized sugar? Oh, it's smoky. There's a there's a smokiness here. And I'm here for it because I, I like, yeah, I like this one. I'm trying to see if I'm getting that musk. Maybe. There might be some musk here. Warm milk. It might be making it creamy. Um... Could be making it creamy. There's no sour note here. So I wouldn't worry about that. But this is like a very nice, smoky, sweet. A sweet sugar. So it's that caramel. But it's not caramel. It's not that cloying caramel. It's... It's a caramelized sugar that has that smoky note. This is good. Yep. Monacera. It's a pretty pink bar. This smells like soap. Whenever I say that, I don't mean that like in a bad way. It's very floral. Very floral. Let me smell the bottom. Super floral. I'm going to find it. Yeah, well, I don't smell that in there. Um, taste the sweet nectar from a honeysuckle trumpet. As warm amber and patchouli hover above a spring garden. I don't get patchouli. I'm getting floral, a strong floral. All I'm picking up here is probably the honeysuckle. Or warm amber. No, I know what amber smells like. I'm not smelling amber here. This is, this smells like a flower. It smells like honeysuckle. It's very strong. For me, this would be headache inducing. It's very heady. I could feel it right here it, in my nose right now, up here. It's like, oh. Mm, it's like stuck in there. I don't pick up patchouli and I'm not picking up amber. So I'm thinking the only thing I'm smelling is sweet nectar from a honeysuckle trumpet. Because this smells like a very strong flower. A little on the soapier side. Like a bar of soap, a floral soap. Okay, lavender vanilla. Beige. Okay. Mm. Little citrus. Yeah, I said it again. I'm just smelling citrus tonight. It's perfumey. Earthy. There's a little earthiness to it. This is a little strong. There's a little bit of an herbal. I'm picking up a little bit of herbalness. 
let's see. Let me see. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? Um, <clears throat> is this what I'm looking at? Relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, see I smell citrus, and patchouli. There is an earthiness here. Patchouli does have an earthy note to it. I don't smell vanilla here, but I am getting the orange zest and the lavender. Maybe that patchouli's there. If it is, it's very light, but there is an earthiness to this bar. Um, more so on the bottom. But I've already started to get a headache right here. This is strong. Um, it's not my kind of lavender. It's There's an herbalness to it. <clears throat> if you like that kind of lavender, herbal, um, this would be nice for somebody who likes that herbal lavender, but it's not overly strong, like an essential oil, um, but it's there. You do pick up the orange in here, because I did pick up the citrus note, so you get a little bit of a citrus there, and there's an earthiness to it. I don't pick up the vanilla bean, so I'm getting an earthy lavender, herbal lavender with some citrus mixed in. So it's, yeah, it's, I mean, if it was, if I was something I would like to warm in my home, it would be a bathroom, possibly bedroom scent, just for that relaxation aspect. We got six more. This next one is Twilight. Ooh, look at that one. Red. Juicy red. What is that? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to guess at this one. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Twilight. A lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. Okay. Yes. I do get that ocean air here. And there is a soft floral note. Not heady. This is different. This is different. Um, this one's a possibility. That ocean air is making this different. The floral is there. Doesn't seem too. I want to warm this one. It could be a good bathroom scent. <sighs> yeah. So that ocean air is like um. It's like a saltiness to it. Okay, so it's like a salty. Yeah. And the florals are actually starting to smell more. The more I smell it, the more I'm picking up roses. I don't know if that's what it is, but. The ocean air is changing it a little bit. Yeah. If you like florals, if florals are your jam, 
And I do like floral. Some of them, some I do, some I don't. Um, it's a nice floral. It appears to be soft. Not light, I just mean soft. It's not that, yeah. Okay, falling leaves. It's a beautiful clay color. Oh, okay, this is nice. Spicy. You do get the leaf, the leaves note. A um, little bit of earthiness here. Um, very spicy. Super spicy. A lot of cinnamon here. I know. Pop out. You can do it. A lot of cinnamon. Let's see what the two notes are. Clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. I don't know. Sensi's on a patchouli kick here. Or not Sensi, the voters. This one's nice. See? Some patchouli's nice. This is very spicy. Very spicy. Um, I would warm this like I wouldn't put very much. I think this could really overtake your house. So this is, it is, it's earthy. Um, very heavy on the clove. I would go very super, super light with that. Cranberry mango. Okay, this is a nice scent. Um, it's fruity. It's good. Nice bright cranberry. Mango's in there a little bit. Not much of a mango or papaya fan, but Cranberry is very nice in here. Let's see. A melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. This is nice. I don't know if I'm picking up spicy pineapple, but yeah, this is nice. I'm curious about this one because I'm not a fruit person, but there's something about it that's just kind of like grabbing me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do. You get that cranberry. It's There's a brightness here to this bar. I do. I kind of like this. Okay. I'll try that one out. Okay, this one here is peony petals. I'm already in an hour midnight now okay it's pretty pink it's peony very pretty it's a beautiful floral this is very nice very nice it's a nice floral um I would probably do like one cube in my bathroom and then, you know, so this would like last me forever because this smells very strong. This is pretty. This is a very, very pretty floral. It is peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. I'm not picking up, pick up peony here. This is nice. I like this one. I do. Just makes you feel very spring-like. It's a very spring scent. It's pretty. Yeah. And I definitely would like this in my bathroom. 
And I don't know, if I'm in the right mood, I might kind of like it out in my house, you know. Make it feel like, you know, a garden. You know, have the windows open. This is pretty. Very pretty. Um... I'm doing separate piles here. That's why I kind of hesitated. Red cedar and sage. This scares me. I love sage. Red cedar could be sometimes kind of, you know. Mm. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the cedar here. Yeah, it's a little green. I don't think this is going to be a scent for me. The red cedar's there. It's, it kind of hurts my nose. It's, it's strong. Picking up the sage a little bit. There's a green note in here. Like I'm not sure what it is, but there's a green note. Let's have a look. Red cedar and sage. Run free through red cedar, sage, and fresh forest greens. Yeah, there's a green note here. This is woody. It's masculine. Very outdoors. Very outdoor scent. If that's your vibe, you probably like this one. What's with all the hippie stuff here? All these patchoulis, I got sage. Okay. Caramel sugar cone. Yay. I need something sweet. Break up the flowers and the woods and... It's nice. Hmm. This is different. It's okay. Um, I'm not smelling much of anything, to be honest with you. Cats, I don't know what they're doing. Let's see. What am I supposed to be smelling? Guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. I'm going to let it sit for a minute because I'm... It smells flat to me. It could be my nose. I mean, you know, I did a video earlier. Yeah, lots of scents going up this nose today. Maybe it's just light. Yeah, there's a caramel note here. It's super light. I'm just getting like a sweet, a sweet smelling wax. I'm not picking up a lot of this. Mm. I'm trying. I'm not smelling anything here. This would be, yeah, no. There's not enough scent here for me to tell you what it smells like because I'm really not smelling anything at all. Gooey caramel. It's light if it's there. Everything about this bar is light. All I'm smelling when I put it to my nose is just something sweet. And it's super, super light. It's just a sweet, a sweet wax. I'm nothing identifiable. Maybe it needs to sit and have some time. All right. That's it. That's all the bars. Now, what did I really like out of all these bars? Quite a few, actually. I was getting worried. But I've got a nice stack here. What I really, really like. I've got some here that 
Little brown. I'm not, I'm not, I see them thinking I like them. I need to warm them. These are ones I need to warm to see. But I think these might be something I'm interested in. And this falling leaves, I'm torn on this. I don't know. You know what? No, it's a no for me. The clove in there is just, it's, it's, yeah. It's way too much clove. It's, yeah, it's got that dry. Okay, so the ones I'm really stoked about. Toasted caramel sugar. Beautiful smoky note in here. This vanilla walnut. Oh, you guys, all I could say about it, though, is it's super light. And that's sad because this smells good. It's just like a, it's like a, like a nutty muffin. Like a nutty muffin. It just smells so good. Amaretto. I love it. I'm hoping when I warm these, I'm, there's no disappointments. Almond. Beautiful almond. There's a hint of cherry in there. But it says it smells like the, the stuff that comes out of a cherry cordial, the juice. Very good. Blood orange spice. I liked it. It was like an orange cider. I'm excited to warm it. I like it a lot. I'm hoping it warms up as nice. Frosted ginger cookie. This one, again, super surprised. That's fantastic. There's just some about this. I'm absolutely loving it. Love it. The ginger in there is perfect. And Twitter paid it. You guys, I may have a Disney bar that I'm really like liking. This is pretty. It's fresh, it's clean, it's bright. It screams spring. Love this one. Um, whipped vanilla pear. Beautiful. It's just a beautiful creamy pear. Oh, this is, this is, so the more I smell it, really, really like it. And toasted apple butter. Did I put this in my really, really likes? I'm going to move this one. I'm going to move it to the, I need to warm it. Let's go into my, I need to warm it pile. I need to warm it pile peony petals. I like this floral. I'm not against florals. I think in the spring and summer, it's very nice to have your home smell like flowers. Cranberry mango. This one surprised me because I'm not a fruit person, but there's something about this one. I don't know what it is. But there's some about it, and I want to warm it. I just want to see. Awakening. This was a nice, again, kind of like a florally bar. And there's lots of lavender. I'm curious about this one because this is the one that has chamomile and lavender. There's almost no scent. So I'm really curious, like, I want to see what it smells like. More than anything, I think that's in that pile because I just, I want to see. But that's it, guys. Bring back my bar. Be released to the general public. January 1st, $6 a bar, $6.50 for license bars. Bundle and save, six bars for $30. So technically buy five, get one free. Um... If you find a bar you really, really love, and you're like, oh my God, I don't ever want to be without this bar. This Simply Patchouli is just amazing, and I don't ever want to be without it. Just kidding. Um, put that bar in your Scentsy Club, and they'll always make it for you as long as it stays in that club. Scentsy Club ships on the monthly, bi-monthly, and quarterly. It doesn't cost you anything to join. Cancel at any time. Um, there's a whole lot more to Scentsy Club, but that's just a quick. Uh, if you want to know more about Scentsy Club, feel free to contact me and I will fill you in on all the details of the Scentsy Club. Um, again, January 1st. And yeah, 
that's about it. I'm excited to start warming these favorites of mine. I don't know. I am not the type of, yeah. That's a lot of work to warm through all 25 of these bars. Martha from, Fra uh, Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner. She is warming all of them. She's almost done. She's been doing a daily short with a warm review. Um, yeah, I probably won't do that. You'll probably see these in my What I've Been Warming um, basket. So, if you need a Sensi Consultant, I'd love to help you out. I'd like to be your consultant. My information is in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave it in the comments, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Message me on Instagram if you need to go. If you really want me to answer quickly, that's probably the best way. Um, yeah, so that's all I got for tonight, and um, I hope you all have a great day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. It's after midnight here, so now we're going into Sunday morning. Now Chris is going to be up all night doing this, editing, and uh, uploading. So that I can get this out to you and I can start watching other people's videos. All right. Have a great night, everybody. A great day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. <clears throat> appreciate the time you take out of your lives, your busy schedules to watch a video I've uploaded. It means a lot. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I do read all my comments. I don't always respond right away but I will respond. Um, so yeah, have a great one guys. Bye. Talk soon.